I didn't drink yet. We gotta synchronize our drinks. Gosh, what are we doing? Hey everybody, <laughs> welcome to this week's episode of Mark and Bella Vlogs, sponsored by water. Water. Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. This is a break for you to go get a cup and take a sip of some nice chilly water. Chilly. <laughs> Mine's gone. Here's a little water. <laughs> Drink water. But also, uh, in today's video, we're just going to talk about something that I've been looking at a lot lately because it's all over my Instagram feed. And it's this uh, thing that I like to refer to as, or is referred to as, or could be referred to as, the hustler mentality. Mm. Have you heard of this? No, tell me. I will tell you. I will tell all of you. The hustler mentality is essentially just like this string of uh, YouTubers and Instagrammers, and if that's even a term, uh, you know, internet personalities. Uh, you see them probably on sponsored ads where they're trying to sell you some like real estate course on how to make millions of dollars with no money down, which is impossible. But anyways, uh, it's basically these people that are so focused on the grind. It's like everything's about like, you know, I made $2 million last year, you know, with no money down using this special technique. And anyone you buy my, you buy my like three week, my, what is it? Like two day, three, three day course. And then you can know everything you need to know about X, Y, Z you know, investment strategy. And then you'd be or, stacking that bread too. You'd be stacking that bread, oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you have all those people. You have people that are like uh, marketing coaches or, or motivational type speaker people that are saying, you know, uh, the reason that you're not where you wanna be is because you're not working hard enough, you're not focused, you, mm -hmm. have, you surround yourself with toxic people, uh, yada, 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 yada. And that's a little bit more believable because those things are true, but, I think something that doesn't get said and that can kind of slip between the cracks here is the effect that that has on you if that's all you look at, right? And so let's take out the like crazy real estate investment people, the crazy startup people, the crazy stock people, and if you just leave it to like this core group of people that are saying, you know, this is how you succeed. If you wanna make money, this is what you do. Mm -hmm. If you wanna be a successful, self-employed individual, you do this. And you just focus on these people. They have good things that they say, it's good advice, but oftentimes, I've noticed with myself at least, you do get to a point when you're getting started where you feel like, I'm not doing enough. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm never doing enough, and I have to be grinding 24 seven. Shoot, I have to be grinding 25 seven, and I can't ever take a break. I can never slow down. Yeah. And if I slow down, I'm failing. And so in today's video, basically, we just want to discuss the balance between working really hard and hustling and relaxing. And essentially, we just want to pose the idea that it's okay to chill. It's okay to chill. It's okay to go slow every once in a while. It's okay to relax. Yeah, it's yeah. okay to it's okay to drink some water and to relax outside and just be in nature. Yeah. It's okay to take naps. It's okay to get up a little bit late sometimes. It's okay to get up at nine o'clock every day. If you're working hard. Yeah. yeah. And that's the dynamic I think, is if you're working hard most of the time, like all the time, you don't have to follow someone else's morning routine. You know, you don't, you don't have to do what we do. Mm -hmm. You don't have to get up at 4.30. You don't have to run every morning. <laughs> you don't have to get hit the gym after you ran and knock out supersets for three <laughs> hours straight. We don't do but, that. <laughs> <you know? laughs> no, but you don't have to do what we do. You don't have to do what The Rock does. You don't have to do what any of these other people that you might look up to do. You just got to do what, what you do. And you got to know what you want and how you're going to get there. Mm -hmm. And if you're doing the steps to get there, then you'll get there. Yeah. Yeah. All right, everyone, thanks for tuning in. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of people are dissatisfied with their with their lives because they don't have goals and things that they like set up that they want to do. And I think that that's really sad because then they kind of just like end up doing whatever's given to them, which I don't think is bad. That's not bad at all the doing what you're given part I think that there's a time and place for that and you take the job that you can get you take you know what you're given 
but at the same time ha always have goals like okay I want to go here after I do this like I want to if you're working in like a company then I want to move up you know or whatever but don't just I don't know just don't settle for one thing your whole life because I think that's like for you that's something that just feels very stifling and like mm -hmm. and I think for anyone really at least most of the people I've talked to the idea of staying in one place for forever is really uh just depressing yeah. um because we are made to work and that mm -hmm. is good um and you're supposed to work hard and you're also supposed to rest but I think that um just just staying in this one place for forever isn't what we're made to do yeah you 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 grow yeah like you should be growing you should grow and your your job and who you are should grow with that I think. yeah and i've noticed with people that i've i've met at work and just in various environments where they just seem really and you can maybe speak on this too where they seem really like grouchy you know and just kind of like dissatisfied and I've asked these people like what are your long-term goals where mm -hmm. do you want to be and it's like I don't have any goals you know I just I just live for the weekend yeah it's like yeah I don't I don't have any goals and I just live to go like spend my money all on the weekend but then I'm upset when I don't, don't have, have money, money. <laughs> and it's like Right, so you like you want to save and you want to have money so that you can eventually get a better car because you hate the car that you're in. Or but you have a car. then you go spend like you know eighty bucks on drinks and like shopping or whatever. And it's like, I mean, I don't think it's bad to go do something like that, but I also think you need to like you need to not do that all the time. Like mm -hmm. every weekend probably isn't good, especially if you need something or you want to have savings, which is a good idea. Um, so I just think living for that one thing and then hating the rest of the days that you work and live is a horrible way <laughs> to yeah. live. It's, I, I would much rather just find something that I would enjoy doing or you know people that I would enjoy being around than just hating Monday through Friday. Yeah. Or Monday through Friday afternoon. <laughs> Monday through Friday at, at 4.59 yeah. p.m. Yeah. But, I mean, ultimately, you've got to decide what you want, what where you're trying to go, mm -hmm. and then you have to identify how you're going to get there. And you can make allowances for other things for fun, you know? Like, I've noticed yeah. with... With what? I just said true. Yeah, true. 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 Two chains. But, uh... <laughs> but I mean I've noticed in our marriage like the fact that we're saving so aggressively means that I haven't you know besides maybe a day here or there like the day the bank messed up my deposits or oh, yeah. you know stuff like that uh, other than those days really there hasn't been any like financial stress and it's not like we're just you know big balling out here it's just that yeah. we prioritize saving and we don't prioritize spending and when we do spend it makes it more special That's and true. usually we're really not wanting to spend the money anyways and we end up saving it and yeah you know we've noticed like even last night we went to get groceries you can go you know somewhere inexpensive and get groceries and get stuff that's just what you need and you feel good about your purchases and afterwards you have enough money for everything else and you know bringing it back to like the main the main point though it's just you know you can you can you can hustle and grind and get to where you want to be but you also in order to do that need to identify how you're going to get there and then once you've identified how you're going to get there and you're doing those steps you can then i think without guilt relax yeah when you decide to you know on choice days like you can take a sunday you should take sundays and just relax yeah. you know you should you should on Saturdays maybe go spend time with the family in the evening or in the morning and do something like you should do that I think it's really what you value like like for me personally I really value one-on-one -on -one time with people or um, having food with people um, 
And usually it's people that I feel comfortable around. Yeah. <laughs> Not just any, like, you know, random people, but like you or just someone that. Yeah, just random strangers. Just go up to people. I mean, I'll, I like having big groups, but I'm more of like a small person kind of. You're small. You're, you're like a small group. Small group, yeah. So, like, if it's you and like a couple close friends. Or you know, just just smaller settings and just having like a meal together or something like that, over going out to a you know like a huge fancy dinner or something or going shopping. Mm -hmm. And for me, that's what I prioritize. So I think, um, you know, it's it sounds more appealing for me if we went and bought ingredients for like a you know I don't know like five people and had them over. Or like we went and everyone brought a dish to someone else's house and just like hung out together. That sounds so much more appealing to me than like us on a weekend going somewhere fancy or us going to get a bunch of drinks somewhere. Even though I like going out and I like going to get drinks or I like going to get a meal or something like that, I'd much rather be in that kind of setting. Or you know on a Saturday morning going and getting coffee and taking a walk. Like, simple things like that make me way more happy because it's just, like, it's that one-on-one -on -one time mm -hmm. with you or multiple people instead of something big and crazy. So, I guess it's really what you prior prioritize. Mm -hmm. And what you value. And what you value, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, if you really value, like, if you really, like, like to go out and stuff, you can just, you can do that. Just, you know, cut it back or don't, you know... Figure out ways where you can cut costs. I don't know. Yeah, and I mean, we we can get deeper into the money thing, you know, right now. So we can talk about savings. We can talk about budgeting right now. Yeah. We can get into it. Let's get into it. So if you want to go out every weekend, let's say, then you just need to prioritize that with your budget. You just need to make sure that, okay, what is that going to cost me? Can I afford to do it multiple nights? No, yes, okay, I can. How much can I spend on those nights? What kind of places could I go? But then you're going to have to cut elsewhere. And I think yeah. we've talked about this before between just the two of us and the friends of us, uh, friends of ours, and you might be watching this, you know, I've talked to you about this, but just the little tic tac -y, you know, purchases are what get you every single week. And mm -hmm. we talk about this in our ebook that's coming out very soon uh, on budgeting. And yeah. Our, uh, our cookbook that's coming along with that and our budgeting sheet and tutorial all in one package. Look forward to that. For 10 bucks. 10 bucks. $9.99 plus shipping and handling. But <laughs> <laughs> but we talk about this in the ebook which is just basically it, there's an example of how quickly your budget can get racked up if you're just buying little things throughout the day. You go to get coffee three or four times a week Which... you go to starbucks you get what i was gonna say i did that this week <laughs> yeah i mean because i was hungry it happens and... yeah i was yeah i just went to like circle k and went to qt and starbucks and like something every single day because like every day this past week because i was so hungry and um i'm blaming it on <laughs> pregnancy but I was really hungry. I was, I really legitimately was. So every day I went to Circle K or QT or something like that and got like, I don't know, like popcorn chicken or like Cheez-Its or something like that. Yeah. And then when I was going through it later, I was like, oh my gosh, this all adds up to like 30 bucks. <laughs> like, 30 bucks. But when I would swipe my card, I was like, oh, it's only three ninety nine. Like that's not bad at all. $3.99. But like every day it was like, it was a lot. Yeah, and, a lot. and you take that thirty for a month, you yeah. know, then it's one hundred and twenty dollars, and one hundred and twenty dollars over three months, you know, that's three hundred and sixty dollars, and you're just quickly racking up charges. And if your goal, like, let's say, you do that, so you do thirty dollars a week every single week, over the course of an entire year, quick math, what is that? That's like, that's like. Fifteen hundred dollars? Is that fifteen hundred dollars? What was it? I don't. Know. Thirty what a week. Say? Math break. Fifteen hundred and sixty dollars. <laughs> I was right. <laughs> so if you spent thirty dollars 
on snacks every week at the end of the year it's fifteen hundred and sixty dollars dang fifteen hundred that's a new macbook that's a new oh, snap. that's a, a new iphone which is ridiculous uh but i mean it could be two iphones that's what else what else is fifteen hundred sixty dollars um a lot that's like four or five playstations that's a lot of chick-fil-a yeah um that's like a down payment that's, on a motorcycle that's a lot of gas that too. could I don't just know how be a motorcycle gas. yeah it's a lot of gas i mean that's probably like honestly because if you're filling your tank up and you use one tank of gas a week that's basically your gas for the entire year mm. it's right there so you could you're already gonna have to drive so you know you're basically buying gas twice you know but the point is, like you're saying, is whenever you're swiping, it's three ninety nine. At the end of the week, it's thirty dollars. Crazy. And it stacks up. And so you have to identify your goals. Savings is important. We talk about it in our book. Go buy it. It's not out yet, but when it is, <laughs> go buy it. But um, ultimately, you got to know where you want to be, where you want to be, where you, what are your goals, what are you trying to do, and then you got to know how to get there. Yeah. And then you do those steps. But if you're doing those steps, like we are. It's okay to relax. Like today we're chilling. That's fine. Yesterday we had a really relaxing day. We just we just hung around at the house, watched some fixer upper, did all kinds of stuff, drank a lot of water, did all sorts of things. <laughs> you know? And I normally I would say that oh we're not doing enough, but I know we're doing enough. And so it's fine. And you spent thirty dollars this week on snacks. We went to the grocery store yesterday and we have enough for this week and now we're bouncing back and we're making adjustments and that's what life is mm -hmm. but don't beat yourself up if you're not hustling hustling enough but also if you're not hustling at all get out there start grinding start saving yeah because it's amazing it really like is amazing what you can do for yourself and how many um how many opportunities there are out there so if you're if you're not working or like looking towards the next step then you're really doing yourself a disservice because you can be doing so much and um and really by not doing that much <laughs> you can do a lot um so if you're actually really working hard then you can do even more and um and i think that's pretty that's pretty awesome and like for me like as a just small example i'm always looking at like I don't know, like new jobs or new opportunities that are out there. Not like I'm just gonna like quit on the people that I'm working for, but like, but I'm always I'm always looking because I think that that's good in every area of life to just always be looking and always be keep your eyes open and um, and stay where you're at and work hard and be thankful for what you're given and what you have, but also always be pushing for the next thing and don't just don't just let life happen to you exactly you happen to life you happen to life and you always got to do what's best ultimately for yourself and for your family and sometimes that's relaxing mm -hmm. but you got to make sure you're grinding first yeah thank you for watching this week's video tune in next week please like and subscribe get some chocolate some chocolate and take a break until next week bye bye